Jake Brandon here with Kook Connect, and I am very fortunate to be joined this evening by Max Tooley. Max, how you doing? Good. How are you doing, Jake? Good, man. Tell us, uh, for those who maybe don't know you as well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you play high school ball? How long have you been at BYU? Um, yeah, so I'm from Bountiful, Utah. Um, I graduated actually in 2016. Um, went on a mission to England, same as Trey, London South Mission. Um, and then I got back in 2018. I've been here ever since, so been here for a minute. This is year five coming up for me, so. You're a linebacker, right? Yes. Which yeah. linebacker position are you playing? So I've bounced around throughout my career, but um, most recently I played the, the flash outside linebacker, which is the field side, um, yeah, to the more space on the, the field, so. Yeah, um, you're covering slots, you're filling the alleys on the run support, right? You're mixing it up with tight ends. It feels like, we were just talking to Lane, how tight ends like a really versatile position on the offense. That flashbacker feels like a very versatile position on the defense. Explain that to us. Yeah, I mean, throughout uh, at least my time here at BYU, Flash has kind of been a different position, you know, every couple games. Like, that's kind of how versatile it can be. You know, one day you got... Speaking of decent speed, you made a pretty spectacular interception where you, like, came flying in from many yards away and caught this ball that was just like flipped over in the air. You know what play I'm talking about here? I do, yeah. Break it down for us. Tell us about that play. It was a spectacular play. Yeah, you know, I actually was seeing something totally different. I was so tell us about last season. How do you feel last season went? I mean, obviously last season uh, it had its ups and downs. We could have obviously won a couple games that, you know, were could have gone either way. Um, we were hurt a lot with injuries, mm -hmm. um, like you already mentioned before. I mean, anytime you win 10, 10 games in a season, you can't really complain. Right. Um, you can always say, what if, what if this, what if we would have done this. But, I mean, when it all comes down to it, 10 wins in a, in a season is a is a great season it for any team. puts you in rarefied air, right, with the BYU groups, the yeah, teams who've exactly. done that. But then at the same time, you're like, man, there's a couple of those. Oh, yeah. like it was so reachable to get to the New Year's Six game. You know, there's always what ifs. But, I mean... Can't be too too upset with how the season went. Really. Yeah. Do you feel like that is a personal goal or a team goal or a standard you've set for yourself this year? We have so many people coming back. Is the New Year Six? How do you feel about the defense going into next year? Do you feel like it was the injuries that ha caused us to struggle in some of those games, or do you feel like it was scheme, or do you feel like it was just? unprepared for the people like what, what's your take on it being in the defense so i mean last year usc game i've never been in more pain in my life like i was laying in the hotel room that night and i was just i couldn't sleep i was cramping up in oh my yeah legs. i was just it was not fun but you know it was you got the you got the double cramp i did that night sure. <laughs> i couldn't even lay in my bed because yeah it was bad yeah it was real bad Shoot, man. Well, let's talk about that USC game for just a second, because that was one time where it was like the defense really clutched up and won that game. And it was like guys who were hurt and battered and guys who were getting significant minutes for the first, second, or third time of their careers, and you guys clutched it up at the end. Talk to me about that end of that USC game. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, anytime you're playing USC, it's going to be a good game. We knew that. But what is your personal goal for this next year? Um, you know, I just want to build off of what I've I've produced the last three years and just put together, you know, a singular full season. I just feel like I've I've had bits and pieces of the last couple of years, but I don't feel like I've been able to put together a full, you know, full season at full strength, full health. Um, so I think just having that in mind, just being able to, you know, feel like I've made a, as most of an impact as I can the whole year um, and contributing to the defense. I think that alone would uh, be really satisfying for me um, as a fifth year, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> I'm technically still a junior, and you know, I still have next year, so could be here for a sixth year. But yeah. I think that that's ultimately my biggest goal is just to like feel like I've contributed enough and been able to do the most that I could to help the team. Very good. Would you rather see trips to the field and you're covering flats out there, whatever your assignment is to be in the zone of the defense, or would you rather see double tights to your side or unbalanced to your side? I mean, it depends. If you're running against our offense, 
Cool. Well, Max, I appreciate you taking some time with us this afternoon or this evening. <laughs> and uh, right. I hope we can uh, get you in again sometime. Yes, sir. Of course. Let me know. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate yeah, you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Take her easy. Good connects out.